Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to configure an ARC server. When you're playing ARC with your friends, you can have a lot of fun on a server just by playing vanilla. And granted, what we're going over today doesn't really change the mods of the game, but it does change a lot of what can be done with the vanilla version of the game. That's right, we're going over server settings. Settings and the web interface. The first thing you'll want to do is obviously open your panel and head to the general settings on the left hand side. Here you can change pretty much anything that you want, whether it's how much XP you gain, or simply whether you change the name of the server. File browser settings. This section is going to be a bit more in depth. Head to the left hand side and click the file browser button underneath tools. Then you're going to take this path that you see up on the screen. Once you have finally navigated to Windows Server, the file that you're going to be looking for is gameusersettings.ini, as well as game.ini. Inside gameusersettings.ini. What you're looking at here is actually very similar to the general settings area, but you can adjust the settings with a bit more of a fine tooth comb. What I mean by that is you can switch from false to true for certain settings, as well as change the numerical value depending on what you want changed in the game. Inside game.ini server settings. In this section, it's very similar. The file directly above gameusersettings.ini is called game.ini, and as a more clear example of things that you can do, we're going to add extra levels using level experience ramp overrides. You're going to need to follow along to the section and type out pretty much exactly what I do here, so definitely keep a close eye out. After you've put down level experience ramp overrides and then the equal sign, you're going to go down another line and put in parenthesis experience points for level, and within a set of brackets, you're going to put in the level 1. After the closed bracket, you'll press equal once more, and then you're going to put in 25. The first bracket number is equal to the level that you get added, and the equals number is the amount of experience it takes. If you wanted to add 150 levels, this is what it would look like. Whenever you're done, you simply close the parentheses and then save the changes. From here, you head back into your main dashboard and restart the server to get any of the settings changed. Once again, this leveling up example is just that, an example. It is not something that is required to do. Frequently Asked Questions The first frequently asked question is, why won't my server start after I've made changes? If this is the case, the simplest answer is to go back to the settings that you have changed and switch them back to default, then test the settings one by one. Next is, if you can't find a setting that you need. If this is the case, all you need to do is head to your general settings and at the top you can see a search bar. You can type in any of the settings that you're looking for, for example difficulty, and they'll just magically appear. Isn't the internet great? Conclusion That covers everything you need to know at a basic level on server configuration. If you want to see something that's way more in depth, let us know. On that topic, consider leaving a like subscribing, and also ringing the notification bell, so that way we know this is the kind of stuff that you like to see. Until next time!